Well, thanks to Leon for that last race then, and it's the Stratford Beginners Novices Chase next then, and it's three miles and one furlong, and at the top we've got art of success for David Hooley, Earthquake for Paul Rhodes, both of those winners last week, Discover Ages for Darren Thompson, Moons of Jupiter Craig Beckwith, Nomadic Bygraves for David Robertson, Ross L. Crow, Padre Hogan, Velvet Diamond, Graham Clutterbuck, Cleric's Cloak and Cleveland for Leon Van Rensburg, and Firebrand for Joshua Sutherland, so ten in this end, called it in a way, and Discover Aegis is going to lead them into the first, a short run to the first, they've all got over it okay though, and they can now sort themselves out, take this turn, and enjoy a reasonably long run to the second of the 16 fences that they've got to negotiate in this one, and Discover Aegis is clear by about three or four lengths to Moons of Jupiter in second. Firebrand is next and harder success as they get to the second. And they're all safely over the second as well with Earthquake, just the early back marker. They'll discover Aegis it is then. Comes past the big screen. And past the winning post for one more complete circuit of this Warwickshire track Stratford home to Shakespeare of course and famous thespians since have been all over the place and they come to the next they're all safely over that one with Russell Crowe just the back marker I'm not sure whether Russell Crowe ever acted at Stratford on fairly certainly probably didn't but anyway Discover Agus is in the lead and Cleric's Cloak is in second, then comes Moons of Jupiter in third. Moons of Jupiter was in that farcical two where I raced last week where Moons of Jupiter happened to fall and allow one of my horses to come home alone and win. I'm sure that's probably going to be the only win that mine gets this season, but I'll be interested to see how Moons of Jupiter does. Because I'm still fairly certain if it had stood up last week it would probably have beaten mine because it's not one of the best of mine, but anyway, we're waffling again, and it's Discover Aegis is in the lead by about six lengths to Cleric's Cloak in second. Firebrand is third, and then Moons of Jupiter. Russell Crowe has got a little bit closer on the inside. Then comes Earthquake, who's moved up from the back as well. Art of Success is after that one. Velvet Diamond next, and then Cleveland, and finally Nomadic Bygraves at the back. We should have been running the same race as Max earlier, shouldn't it? Anyway. It's Discover Aegis in the lead, clear by a good five lengths for Darren Thompson and Firebrand on the inside of Earthquake as they take this ditch, which they're all safely over with the exception of Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe decided to exit stage left there and is out of the race and Discover Aegis is in the lead from Firebrand second and then Earthquake as they Get over the eighth, and there's another one gone. It's David Hooley's this time, Art of Success, that's gone. So, David Hooley not having the same sort of look as he had on day one last week today. And Discover Aegis is the leader by about four to Firebrand in second. Earthquake is in third, then Moons of Jupiter fourth. Then come the Leon Van Rensburg pair, Cleric's Cloak and Cleveland, as they get over the ninth. After that one, Velvet Diamond and just been overtaken by Nomadic Bygraves as they come down towards the next end. They've still got a mile and a half almost to go. And plenty of jumping to do. And Discover Aegis is the leader. In fact, they've still got a complete circuit to go, haven't they? Because it's quite a tight track, Stratford, and Discover Aegis is the leader from Firebrand in second, Earthquake is in third, Moons of Jupiter is in fourth, then Cleric's Cloak and Cleveland together, then Nomadic Bygroves on the inside of Velvet Diamond, and they're the only ones that are left in it then, with Discover Aegis in the lead over the tenth. Mistake there was by Moons of Jupiter. Just seeing that one drop back behind the two Leon Van Rensburg horses and also Nomadic Bygraves is getting a nice little run up the inside although that run is now being blocked by Cleric's Cloak and they're coming down towards the next and Discover Aegis leads over it 
From in second place, Firebrand, then comes Earthquake, then Cleric's Cloak, Moon of Jupiter, Cleveland, and Nomadic Bygroves are almost three to line. There's another one gone down there. It's Earthquake that's gone this time. So Earthquake, another one out of the race. Then bad luck for Paul Rhodes. It's Discover Ages, though, that's still the leader. Firebrand is coming round. It's outside to challenge. Gap of three lengths, then back to Cleric's Cloak, Nomadic Bygroves, Moons of Jupiter, making a forward move round the outside. Then comes Velvet Diamond, and Cleveland is now just the back marker. But it's Firebrand in front there. Firebrand's taking it up by about a length to Discover Aegis in second. Moons of Jupiter is going well in third. Also going well is Nomadic Bygraves. Cleric's Cloak is still there as well as they come down towards the fourth of home then there. And over it they go. They're all safely over that one this time. And it's Firebrand who leads by about a length to Discover Aegis in second. Nomadic Bygraves is third. Now Cleveland is bursting through and coming through the challenge for the lead. Also, Velvet Diamond is coming round the outside over the final ditch. That's the third from home. And it's Firebrand in the lead from Cleveland in hot pursuit in second. These two are clear of Cleric's Cloak and Nomadic Bygraves. Moons of Jupiter is after that one. Discover Aegis is now dropping away. They start the second last. And over it they go. Oh, he's gone! Cleveland's crashed out of the second last and it's Firebrand in the lead Firebrand leads from Cleric's Cloak who's been left in second Moons of Jupiter is third then comes Nomadic Bygraves and then Velvet Diamond Discover Aegis is now the back marker they've only got one more fence to take in the strike it's a short straight as well and it's Firebrand over the final fence in the lead Cleric's Cloak comes to challenge and Cleric's Cloak is trying to get into the lead but Firebrand is fighting back Cleric's Cloak and Firebrand inside the final furlong Cleric's Cloak nearest to us Firebrand on the rail Cleric's Cloak's just beginning to get up and Cleric's Cloak is going to take it. Cleric's Cloak is going to be the winner. Firebrand is second. He's close for third. Moons of Jupiter just hanging on from Nomadic Bygraves and then Discover Aegis and finally Velvet Diamond. And another action pack race. And Cleric's Cloak hung on to take it. Firebrand fighting back all the time. And those two are about three lengths clear of the rest. So Cleric's Cloak, the winner then for Leon Van Rensburg. Firebrand for Joshua Sutherland, second. Moons of Jupiter for Craig Beckwith was third. Nomadic Bygraves for David Robertson, fourth. And long-time leader Discover Aegis for Darren Thompson was fifth.